Without mercy. All right, how's it going, everybody? Al Nino here. And today we're gonna get deep into the Kalari Guide. This is our third update to the Kalari Guide, our third video for a Kalari Guide. And the only reason I make a third upgrade now is because I finally got Voice Seal Dagger and I finally got Scourging Tails, which is essential on Kalari. This is so important. If you do not own these cards, there's now the tool for the card crafting system, which you should absolutely use to get the card that you want. So card crafting is here. You can get whatever you, card you want. You don't have to randomly hope that you get a drop from card craft packs. Sorry, from card packs or from finishing a game or from daily quest rewards. Now you can actually get whatever you want. This is for Kalari Jungle. Your first item will be Stalker Siphon. This gives you attack speed, life steal, and basic attack on jungle minions and restore 8 health. So on top of the life steal, you also restore health for every basic attack you do on a jungle monster. Absolutely grab this as your first item. It's a rare passive, but it is absolutely worth it. This is a card that will help you sustain the jungle and not have an issue. Attack speed is very favorable also on the new Kalari because of her base attack speed increase in the monolith patch. Absolutely grab Stalker Siphon. Next, your item will be Assassin's Ward, because you need wards 100%. Every card deck build, whatever hero you're playing with, you absolutely need Shadow Wards. So next up, Assassin's Ward. The reason you get Assassin's Ward is because it gives you lifesteal, <coughs> it gives you basic penetration, which is something Kalari loves, she loves armor pen, and you get power. And Shadow Wards. So that's really that simple. However, once you buy this item, do not upgrade all three major strikes yet. Just buy this item after Stalker Siphon, and then and then keep farming after that. Do not finish the major strikes. Your next item will be the beautiful item, Void Steel Dagger. This item is so important on Kalari. Like, this is the most important item on Kalari. This is like core, a core item. Because basic pen is so important on Kalari. Just any assassin, you need armor pen. Now keep in mind, armor pen also works against people with base armor, and every hero in the game has a base amount of armor. A base amount of armor is basically armor that's not from items, it's just the armor that they have within them. It's based on, it's based from their statistics, right? Armor armor items, like, you know, like, uh, the order items that give armor, or a universal item that gives you armor. So basic pen helps penetrate both that and the base armor so it's very very nice to have ba basic pen just generally speaking so if they don't if they don't have armor this is still good that's what i'm trying to say right so buy this with three minor strikes at this point you want to finish voice steel dagger after you buy assassin lord voice steel dagger finish all of it three minor strikes the reason you get three minor strikes is because you want to get the full upgrade bonus of voice steel dagger which is 12 power 12 power is a huge stat bonus and you which you absolutely need so finish three quickly get this item. After you finish Voice of the Dagger, this is when you go back to Assassin's Ward and finish all three major strikes. The reason you buy three major strikes is because Assassin's Ward does not have a unique passive bonus. It doesn't give you an additional bonus after finishing a recipe, right? And here, I can go minus strikes because then I get 12 power from my full upgrade bonus. In Assassin's Ward, you get nothing, but you need this item throughout the entire game you need this item because it's a shadow ward shadow wards are very important in every stage of the game so get three major strikes for that finish this item so now you have stalker siphon assassin ward and voice steel dagger all completed your next item will be attack speed wind craver this item is so damn important on kalari because it gives you both damage and attack speed and the full upgrade bonus to this is 12 power keep in mind 12 power is a big stat a big stat that you absolutely need so, 12 power, get 3 uh, on Major Kinetic, Major Strike, and 2 Kinetic. This will give you a mix of both attack speed and damage, plus a full upgrade bonus of 12, which is actually huge, along with Major Strike, additional 18 plus 6 plus the 12. And you get attack speed from it as well. Actually, attack speed now is very, very good on Kalari, and you absolutely want attack speed. So this item is really, like, such an important item now on Kalari. Like, you need this item like in every deck you play with Kalari, you absolutely need Wind Craver. After you buy Wind Craver, your next item would typically be Scourging Tails. Because the active on this is monstrous. Like the active on this item is so phenomenal. For 15 seconds, your next ability hit on an enemy hero will shred 20 basic armor for 6 seconds. 
six seconds, right? 20 basic armor. So you go in stealth. This is your combo. You go in stealth, you gank someone, you activate Scourging Tails, basic attack, right? You want a basic attack with uh, with your Q slash bonus damage because it's 250% bonus damage when you are in stealth mode and then you basic attack. After that, land the E. When you land the E, keep basic attacking. That's 20 basic armor from the enemy gone. Plus, you also have... You also have from basic pen from Boy Still Dagger and basic pen from Assassin's Ward. So you have a whole lot to back you up in terms of armor pen. 4 here, 4 here, so that's 8, 8, and 20. So that's 28 basic pen right there. Pretty huge. Pretty huge. Absolutely worth grabbing. This is just phenomenal damage. Go for a two strike and two of major strikes. The thing is, this does not, again, this does not have an upgrade bonus. Once you finish a recipe, you don't have the certain amount that you want. So make sure you get two major strikes and not just two strikes and one major strike. You want to absolutely go for as much damage as possible in this item because it doesn't have a bonus to an upgrade. But the active of this is absolutely worth it. Once you finish Scourging Tails, your next item will either be Voice Steel Dagger, another one, or Thirst Fang. Now, keep in mind, if they start building or stacking armor, this item is the one you want to buy, absolutely. Now keep in mind, see how I have three Dire Pierces, one Major Strike, and one Major Cast. It can be Major Cast or Major Strike, doesn't matter, both of them give power, so it doesn't matter, both of them do the exact same thing. So in a situation like this, you press Tab, you look at the enemy items, you see, okay, do they have armor? Do they not, Are they stacking armor? This is where you decide, okay, I'll go three Dire Pierces. Like, if you want full basic pen on this, you can go for that. If you want two Dire Pierces and then one Major Strike, you can do that. If you want only one Dire Pierce and then two Major Cast and Major Strike, you can absolutely do that as well. My recommendation, buy two Dire Pierces and pick one. Well, it doesn't matter, both of them do the same thing pick a major strike if you feel like you really need the armor pen like they're just so hard to kill they have so much armor like you can't kill anyone go three dire pierces full basic penetration this will give you so much plus to the 12 power bonus really really good so this is a just in case scenario however if you see that they don't have much armor you see you notice there's not much armor going on they're not stacking it they're not afraid of you like, they think they're not afraid of you. The next item will be Thirst Fang, absolutely, because you get two lesser drains and another two drains. So, in total, you have around 12 full upgrade bonus plus lifesteal. Now, the reason you need lifesteal is because it's such an important stat to have. Uh, it allows you to solo raptors. You can absolutely solo raptors with this. Buying this item gives you five lifesteal right off the bat, which is the huge part about this item. And then you just go two lesser drains and one drain. This will give you just a, total, a huge amount of life steal. It will allow you to solo raptors, it will allow you to even help you with all prime, it will help you to clear waves. You can actually tank minion waves with this item and clear the minions that way. It will just give you so much life steal. It, it will keep you it will keep you going, right? If you take damage from a team fight, go to your jungle, farm, go to your jungle and you know life steal, get back your health. Plus at this point, you want to be selling Stalker Siphon. Absolutely. You want to sell this item. You don't need this item at the late stage of the game because you'd have so much damage. You won't have trouble in the jungle at all. Stalker Siphon only helps you like in the jungle clear in the early stages of the game. That's really about it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that is your last item, first thing. Um, you can swap it with whatever you want. It's not mandatory, but I really like Lifesteal on Kalari in the late stages of the game. And I feel like Lifesteal is very good for, you know, because the minions are large, there's a lot of minions that come in the late game, and they increase, there's more minions in waves, so it really helps to tank those minions and not have an issue, because you have a decent amount of lifesteal. That's really about it uh, for the Kalari item the Kalari item card guide. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully this helps you out. Best of luck in Monolith. It's a great game, great patch, the new card card uh, crafting system is awesome i love it make sure you guys get your own cards if you don't have voice steel work on that once again thank you guys so much for watching and best of luck on month peace out